anticipated 2014 Winter Olympics is soon kicking off in Sochi. This is the first Winter Olympics ever to be held in Russia. This leading international sporting event is the world's foremost competition, with more than 10,000 athletes from 200 nations competing. And worldwide, 3.5 billion of us will be tuning in. The opening ceremony will feature more than 2,000 performers, so why not invite some friends and family over to enjoy the pageantry? This latest in the Creative Entertaining series will show you some great ideas to add to the fun. What's better than caffeine, alcohol, and lots of sugar? Drinks like mulled wine, brandy with orange zest, hot cider, and cinnamon are perfect for socializing after the lift stop running. So why not set up an Afri ski bar? Offer a wide range of brown beverages such as scotch, whiskey, brandies, cognacs. For any occasion that includes snow, champagne is always a go-to choice. Round it out with some sugar cubes and some bitters and orange peel to punch it up a notch. Setting up a coffee bar is a lot of fun and setting up a scotch and whiskey bar is a lot of fun. It allows your guests to get up and help themselves throughout the pageantry. Offer a wide range of savory and sweet delights and let your guests help themselves. It's always fun to use the theme of the event that you're hosting. So for instance, this is the Winter Olympics, so why not decorate tasty delights with flags of the countries that are participating? Instead of choosing the five colors of the Olympic rings as the theme for this event, I chose a wintry display. So the Winter Olympics are kicking off in Sochi, Russia for the first time in Russia's history. And I'm here with Michael Mitchell from Pistols and Petals. Someone wants to have a fun viewing party at home for the opening festivals. Um, what do you recommend for flower arrangements? This is gorgeous. Um, what I did with this one is I kind of went with more of the winter theme. Olympics is a little bit hard to work yeah. a theme and it's very multicultural. So it's hard to pick one theme to work with. So I just kind of made a snowball mm -hmm. out of white carnations um, and then basically used the rings just to kind of symbolize a little bit the ice with the, the crushed glass. Um, very simple, very modern arrangement, all in silvers and you know clears and whites. Um, just kind of like a fun idea. It's beautiful and I love the rings. I love that they're clear and not the five colors of the right. Olympic rings. It still has an amazing effect. Right. So this is a lot of drama and a lot of creativity. I mean, you've created ice effect, you've created the ring effect. Um, was it hard to do? Not terribly. So, <laughs> carnation balls are very little bit easy. We mm -hmm. start off with a, uh, basically a ball of green foam and you start making your carnations into the ball. So it's all pretty much, it's about 75 carnations to make up something like this. Oh wow, 75? So, mm -hmm. That's a lot. Yeah, but it gives you a really nice texture. It's gorgeous. Um, and a little bit of an interesting effect. 